Hey guys, it's me, Ryan Marquez, and today's video is I'm gonna show you some tips to catching your halibut. Let's go. So a lot of people ask me the question, what is your two favorite baits to catching halibut on the drop shot? And it's gonna be a five inch Haleen's Lunker Grub and a four inch Berkley Chartreuse Mullet Bait. Six to 10 inches away from the hook to the weight. And I'm gonna be using a two ounce weight today just because I want to throw that drop shot as far as I can from the shoreline to cover as much ground as I can. Give me a comment below, give me a thumbs up if you really like these halibut videos. Let's say if I get more than 300 likes on this one, I'll make another video. Without further ado, let's go. All right, I'm gonna show you the rig of choice today. I'm using an Abu Garcia Baitcaster on a Tourney Special Bass Pro Shops rod. Medium heavy action. I'm using 15 pound fluorocarbon. I'm using a size one straight worm hook and about six to 10 inches away from the hook and weight. Rigging this is fairly simple. Get the tip of the hook, feed it through the body, and then expose that hook on top of the bait. Three tips I like to show you when catching halibut. First tip, halibut love sandy bottom. So always try to use whatever technique or whatever rig you're using, a swim bait, drop shot, a spinner bait, a underspin. Make sure you're targeting sandy bottoms because halibut love sandy bottoms. Tip number two, I love hovering that bait six to 10 inches away from the sandy bottoms to your bait itself. One of the most important aspects when fishing the drop shot is making sure the drop shot is actually touching the sandy bottoms. And then tip number three, it's all about persistence. The grind. Actually going out there, fishing your spots, fishing sandy bottoms, fishing your confident, whatever rig that you're confident with fishing, and just grinding it out. How to fish the drop shot. It's fairly easy. You want to cast as far as you can. Allow that heavy two ounce weight to hit the floor. And you know that by when the spool of line isn't spooling anymore. That's when you know the weight hits the floor. There's slack in the line. It's really simple with this technique, with these grubs, because all you have to do is a slow, constant retrieval rate. The tail action of the grub itself and the constant velocity of the grub because you're reeling in the line is doing all the work for you. I see this little grassy area right here. I know there's sandy bottoms all around this grassy patch. So I'm gonna go ahead and target, target this area on the sandy bottoms alone because a lot of bait fish like to hover the edges of the grass and that's where the halibut like to be as well, ambushing those prey. Oh, here's one, here's one. Got him! That was right. Oh, there it is. I knew there was a little halibut. See, that grass line? And then right in that area, the sandy bottom. This one, it's not a big one, but it is a halibut, you guys. <laughs> Again, on that drop shot technique, do not want to lip this guy. There you go. Beautiful guy. So again, I was pitching that drop shot near sandy bottoms, and there's that grass line, just like I was mentioning before. And this guy bit right at that sandy bottom. Beautiful halibut, look at that. Complete camouflage. Look at that beautiful pattern right there. It's probably, I wanna say 12 inches or so. The legal size for the California halibut is 22 inches and above, and that's measuring when the, the, the lip is closed. All right, let's let this guy go. All right, see you, buddy. There he goes. Oh. And there he goes, he goes right to the sandy bottoms. My second lure of choice for targeting halibut is a Kayleen's Flunker Grub. Again, halibut loves sandy bottoms, so that right there is a good indicator that potentially there's halibut in the area. Another one, another halibut today, just targeting those sandy bottoms. This time I switched it up to a five inch Lunker Grub. I caught 
legal size halibut on this one before. This one, is, by all means, is not legal size, but let's go ahead and measure this guy just for fun. So measuring this guy, let's see where he's at. So he is from the tip of the tail all the way to his mouth being closed. I'll show you there. About 17 inches. So a 17 inch halibut right again from the shoreline. Targeting those sandy bottoms and using my two favorite grubs on a drop shot technique. Let's go ahead and release this guy. And so he can go and fight another day. All right, buddy. Thanks for letting me catch you. There he goes. Wow. Full of energy. All right, guys. That's it for today. I caught two halibut on my two favorite grubs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Three tips of catching your halibut. And then showing you my two favorite lures on a drop shot technique. I really appreciate all the love and support. All the positive vibes. Again, my name is Roddy Marquez. And always, always, thanks for watching. See ya.